Okay, so this is the experience plan for the first learning story video, the um, coloring water video. So my idea was, I remember in class we spoke about examples from your other classes and you would mention that someone had come up with the idea of like using spray bottles and I really liked that idea. So for my experience, I said that my idea was to use spray bottles and food coloring once again to bring outside and the children can experiment with mixing colors in the snow using the spray bottles. So, sorry, I just lost my spot, sorry. So then, um, how I would make the available, make the materials available. So I was thinking to do this experience after lunch, just so that they're, cause I feel like this one might take a while because they're gonna be making a whole bunch of different colors. So I thought that the more time I give them, the better. So, um, they'll be available, all the materials will be available after lunch in the art area. I was going to have all the bottles set up and then I was gonna have the children bring the bottles over to the sink so that, so that I can fill it just a little, like halfway maybe with water. And then once the water is filled, then I'd have them come back over to the art area table because I'm gonna have the food coloring there too. Sorry, I didn't mention that before. But the food coloring will also be on the table and I will I'm not gonna allow the kids to do it because I don't want it to be like a big mess. So I would use the food coloring to put in to their spray bottles and I would allow them to choose which color. I would only do primary colors though because then with mixing colors, they'll make secondary and tertiary colors. So I would only have red, blue, and yellow available for the food coloring. So yeah, let them choose whichever color they want and then I would have spray bottles too for whichever color like isn't really being selected like like say maybe most of the children choose red and blue and then yellow is not really chosen then i'll have like a spray bottle with yellow that i can use to like assist them in making more colors with it and then so yeah we'll be outside um as soon as we get outside i think i'm just gonna let the children do whatever they want like give them time to kind of explore on their own if they have questions then like maybe i'll <clears throat> like meet with whoever has questions and like i could talk to those kids about whatever their questions are but the other kids that maybe don't have questions as of yet or who just want to play i'll just let them go and explore and my main reasoning for like allowing them to do it on their own is to see like if they're just gonna spray their own bottle or if they're gonna like find a partner who has a different color and then they can make different colors together or find like a little group of peers to make different colors with because i think kids we don't give kids enough credit for like them initiating their own activities because sometimes a lot of the time actually not sometimes they do like they go off and make their own groups and come up with their own games and like do all that kind of stuff so i would give them time to figure that out and try to build their little teamwork skills on their own maybe before i like step in and then maybe introduce a game to them like one game that i was thinking of doing is having them just like stand and like wait and then i will call on two random kids names who have different colors and then i will say i wonder what like so let's say if one kid has yellow and the other one has red then i'll be like i wonder what color we can make if we do two sprays of yellow and one spray of red and like something like that and then get them to actually do it in the snow and then mix it together to see what color obviously it's orange but for them to see what color it makes and then there's another game that i was thinking um where i can um 
Sorry, I'm just trying to remember what I wrote. I can't even think right now. Okay, no, I can't remember the other game that I was thinking of. It's definitely in my experience plan, but I just can't remember what it is. But um, I was also thinking to bring the food coloring outside, like have it on me and bring it outside and bring a bucket and a funnel so that if there's any kids that like maybe use all of their spray bottle quickly or if they just get tired of having that color then they can choose a different color and then make other colors and I think that would be fair because like some kids like they need constant like something new constantly so like bringing out a different color for them like might actually help them to stay engaged or to like if they're super like hyperactive to like keep them kind of calm to like bring the change to them instead of them seeking like figuring out other things other like they can do that but like i still kind of want to keep it with mixing colors and try to make new colors because that's what the story is about so yeah how i will facilitate transitioning and when i know the kids will finish so i think I think the in for me my goal is to be finished when all the colors are done out of their spray bottles but and if they want to keep doing it then we'll keep doing it but then once it becomes like time to actually move on to like the next thing then um I know kids will be done if they're like I said if their spray bottles are done or if they come to me and say that they're done or um, if they just start to do other things in the outdoor area, like if they start going to like the playground or like start playing their own other games, then I'll know that they're like done. And then how I'm going to uh, transition is I'm going to ask them to maybe line up or get into a group outside of the door so I can just make sure everyone is there. And then we'll bring all this stuff inside over to the sink and we'll put all the spray bottles like by the sink or in the sink. And then I'll go back to like the coat and shoes area and then we'll take off all of their stuff. And then depending on like the day, whatever's next, then we'll just move on to the next um, activity. As far as like cleaning up the materials, I think, I think it's safest for me to just do it because I don't want it to become like a huge mess because like obviously we all know how kids are with water. So like yeah i think i would probably just do that on my own but yeah and then i kind of wanted to speak a little bit about the reflection that i wrote for um um for how i would what i would do differently if i did it again so based on what I would observe from this first experience, I think I would just add, like I would do kind of the same thing, like go outside, use spray bottles, and then maybe I could use different, like different, um, if there's like other kinds of spray bottles, because I know they, a spray bottle is like a spray bottle, like it all sprays kind of the same. But if I find ones that are like different, then I would like so be interested in seeing how that would work and how the kids would play with it. So um, I would just bring more mediums, like instead of just food coloring, I could mix paint with water and get them to spray that. It's kind of the same, but different because it's not food coloring. And um, glitter, also mixing glitter into the water, glitter, mixing it with the paint or just doing it like by itself. And then I was also thinking mud, like getting super runny, like liquidy mud. And then, or just getting regular mud outside and bringing it and mixing it with water to make it more runny. So they could play with that to maybe make pictures and they could still use that to like mix colors too. So that would be cool. And then I was also thinking um, getting different colored soap to see if it would actually like come out colored and if it would mix colors with like any of the other mediums that I mentioned. And then this is really outside the box, but I was also thinking using like juice and like ju like different colored juices or like pops because, and I feel like that's a waste of money, but it would be really cool to see if, if it would work too, because obviously we know mixing drinks in a cup, it works, but like I would wanna see how 
if it would be the same as like using paint or the food coloring or if it would look different like if it would give us different sh like a different shade of the same color or like what it would do so or if it would just seep through the snow like i don't know <laughs> it probably would seep through the snow but yeah i would just want them to see more importantly like the difference with all the different mediums i just mentioned so yeah i thought that would be a really cool experience for the kids to not only use food coloring but all the other things that i said and yeah i think that would make for like a really i feel like it would take a while because of especially if i'm like adding more things i feel like it would take quite a while to get through the whole experience but i think it would be really cool to learn and to see their reactions to um mixing all those different mediums and seeing what colors they could still make with them so yeah that's experience plan number one